Hi there. Uh, in this video, it's quite a short video, I'm just going to show you conditional formatting. I'm here in QGIS, um, come on, which one is it, Zurich? Yeah, so it's Zurich 318. And um, if we just open this attribute window on my pubs layer, look how it looks. I've got, all, I've got these red diamonds and also the row is kind of highlighted, but it's not all rows, it's just select rows. So I've got this conditional formatting going on here. I sort of just I just wanted things to stand out that were of interest in whatever sort of GIS work I was um, working on. And my my rule was, you see, and you may have noticed that everything that begins with the all the pubs that begin with the I want to stand out from the rest of the data. So you can see the parcel yard, the orange tree. And it's got a red diamond but it's also bold and it's actually in a slightly different font as well you can see so how is that achieved well it's quite straightforward uh, here you'll see conditioning conditional formatting at the top here so if you click on that you can see what um what rules you can apply uh, and and sort of configure them so it's on pub name this field so i've got a field there that's got a pub name and you can see this is this is the one that's running on pub name Let's just click on that and have a look. So what I've got is an expression. I can give it a name, this rule. Um, I've got an expression. That expression is uh, left string of the value of pub name. Count the first three, um, look at the first three letters from the left, T-H-E. And if they do equal T-H-E, then that satisfies my rule. And if it satisfies my rule, then draw an icon, set the font and make it bold. OK, so that's how you do it. And then I can, so so if I just change this to a green sort of diamond, press done, there you go, you see. So very straightforward. So, but there is a, there is another thing you can do that that's on the field. You see how that's working at field, um, specifically just on that field, where you can make a whole sort of row affected as well, if you, if you prefer, if you want the whole row of data to stand out. So what we'll do is we'll uh, take this rule and delete it. Get a full row, full uh, row. And we'll put in a new um, condition and it's going to be uh, the, the same sort of um, thing so i'm going to do okay left um, and um, might as well use the expression builder so left field pub name comma three uh, equals single quotes that and i could put i could put anything in here you know any any kind of expression there's a million and one so I'm still picking out this, but this is going to work on the full row. So let's just make it bold. Press done. So this is bolded the full row this time, you see. So I've got the whole row of data, not just the field. So that might be more useful for you. See how they stand out. We could certainly make them stand out a bit more. Um, why not um, have a, uh, I don't know, a, a background of red and a, a foreground of like oh, white something like that you see so that really stands out the whole row um so like i said it could be an expression and it really and it's no there's no select on data it's not highlighting stuff on the map it is purely conditional formatting showing what's in the attribute window and um, you probably don't want to use an icon because if you do use an icon you get this effect which is a bit sort of crazy so you get this icon sort of drawn right across you probably don't want that but just to uh make the row highlighted really strongly um yeah it's pretty good so it's, it looks a bit like a selection but it's not this is just conditional formatting of the attribute window only so anyway hope you like it um thanks for watching